Now, Parliament is also bracing for a storm today post the budget presentation by the Finance Minister Nimla Sitharaman. The opposition has denounced the alleged discriminatory share allocated to states of Andhra Pradesh and Bihar, which have been monumental in the making of the Modi 3.0 government. Now, the INDI bloc is set to stage a protest today at the Parliament ahead of the convening of the session. The opposition leader in the Lok Sabha, Rahul Gandhi, has termed it the Kursi Bachao budget. Meanwhile, Congress chief ministers have also doubled down and called for a boycott of the Niti Aayog meeting on the 27th of July. And that's not just the Congress which has a problem with the budget. The TMC also had lashed out yesterday the centre over their budget allocation. Now we're crossing over to my colleague Pragya to bring us more on this. Pragya, the fact that the opposition is now thinking about boycotting the Niti Aayog meet, uh, what kind of significance does this hold? Well, at least first, I would say at least four chief ministers, including three from Congress, are set to boycott Niti Aayog meeting. It is scheduled on July 27th, and they're saying that uh, there is nothing for their state in the budget, despite this, uh, despite several demands that have been put by the state to the centre. In fact, they are alleging that uh, the budget has given special funds allocation to Bihar and Andhra to satisfy the needs, uh, obviously, of their own allies and the allies. And this is why the Congress also is attacking the government, saying that this is the with our budget, that they are trying to protect their, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the kind of numbers that they have right now in the parliament. They would want their allies to support them throughout. Uh, through these five years, and that is why the special allocation of budget. Now, uh, the Mr. Stalin has said that he will not, uh, uh, he will not be participating in the PGI meeting, along with Mr. Rivan Swedi, who is a Lengana CM, also another Congress who is paid. Then uh, Mr. Siddhar Abhaya of Congress, uh, Karnataka, obviously, he is also not attending, along with the National Pradesh to give nothing to do. So four, at least four of these CMs have said that they will not be attending NATI meeting. Remember, this meeting is very crucial as far as national policies are concerned. And this also takes into cognizance the requirements of the state uh, and also the policy matter regarding the state as well. So this is uh, obviously a, a, a platform where they could uh, give the suggestions and if they want certain things uh, for the government to do for them, this is the platform where they could air their uh, uh, demands, grievances, and also suggest in fact, so this is a place where this uh, they, they could do that. But if they are not attending this meeting, they are boycotting this uh, meeting. Uh, uh, this is also a very serious message that they are trying to send across the center. Obviously, it's a it's a relationship where they have to be uh, in the federal uh, corporatism. But it seems that that relation is going to break down, especially in Congress rural states. Uh, uh, Siddharam Mia said that they don't feel Kennedy as I heard. Uh, Mr. Sukhwinder Singh Chukhu said there's nothing for Himachal Pradesh. Similarly, Raven Reddy saying nothing for Telangana, but for Andhra Pradesh. So this fight will continue for uh, some time. At least it looks like that uh, there is going to be rift between the Congress states and our, uh, opposition India Alliance rule states and the BJP rule center government. Absolutely. Pragya, thank you so much for joining us and bringing us those key details. We'll continue to keep our eye on the politics. And let's also listen into a statement that's come in. The budget is uh, very, very disappointing uh, from any angle. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't give what the people or the country or the states wanted. And uh, there were a lot of build-up and hype about the budget that there's going to be a lot of measures uh, to contain the issues that our country is facing today. But uh, in one word, the budget is very disappointed very disappointing and also the uh, the nifty and the sensex points going down also reflects that even markets have not welcomed this budget 